This is Senator Nora Ladi Dadut. Mr. President, thank you very much. Distinguished colleagues, I rise to move this motion in regards to the fire incidents in Namu Central Yam Market in Plateau State. The Senate notes with serious concern the fire that raised the central yam market in Namu, which is situated in Kwanpan local government area of Plateau State and is in my constituency, that is Plateau Southern Senatorial District. This market is one of the sources of revenue to both the state and the local governments, and it serves as major income to both the farmers and traders in Plateau State. Mr. President, distinguished colleagues, the Senate also further notes that the Nabu Yam market is known for quality yam and yam seedlings, not only in Plateau State, but across the nation. The market is a major supplier of both yam for immediate consumption, as well as yam seedlings for planting. For more than four decades, Namo Yam Market has been supplying yam not only to Plateau State, but also to other major commercial towns like Lagos, Potakot, Kano, Medjugorje, Sokoto, etc. I'm sure most of you are eating the yam that comes from Namu Market. The Senate also, Mr. President, is aware that the cause of the fire was linked, was leaked, or linked rather, I'm sorry, was linked to a spark from a grinding engine in the market. And the fire spread and destroyed most of the yam and other valuables. Furthermore, the dried grasses used to preserve yam heaps at the market made it easy for the fire to rage quickly and has affected hundreds of farmers and traders. The Senate further is worried that the overwhelming losses suffered by the farmers and traders have rendered the business community penurious, leading to serious social crisis, which if not urgently addressed, can lead to a breakdown of law and order. Mr. President, distinguished colleagues, it is observed also that farmers, traders, and other stakeholders are overwhelmed in their efforts to, to ameliorate, ameliorate their condition and their determination to address the challenge cannot be successful without intervention of the government. It also observes that it is the constitutional responsibility of the federal government of Nigeria to provide for the security and welfare of the people of this country as a whole and from the local government area of Plateau State in this case. Mr. President, distinguished colleagues, the Senate further is concerned that the consequences of this episode is that there might be shortage of yam and yam seedlings, resulting in price hike. Thus, economic activities will dwindle, worsening the already economic challenges in the country. Furthermore, it is concerned that the extent of destruction of yam tubers and other valuable properties calls for 
urgent national intervention to give a practical demonstration to the federal government of Nigeria's constitutional responsibility to the people of affected communities. Mr. President, distinguished colleagues, I have just two prayers. One, to urge the Minister of Humanitarian Affairs, as well as NEMA and other relevant government agencies, to immediately provide relief materials to the traders, as well as respond to the huge financial losses resulting from the fire outbreak, to provide succor to all those affected. And secondly, to urge the federal government to carry out any other immediate action which will improve the condition of living of the affected community resulting from the fire outbreak. Thank you, Mr. President. I so move. Senator Thank you, Mr. President. I am Senator Baroji Brin. I represent Canon North. Mr. President, first of all, permit me to sympathize with the traders in this uh, popular market who lost their stock, the food stock, seedlings, and other valuable, worth millions of naira, in the fire outbreak. Mr. President, this event is a sad commentary on the way we run our affairs as a nation. Because I believe that the, the proper thing is to have a fire station somewhere around markets and other important uh, places. So that whenever there's a fire of such as uh, what happened in that market, uh, the fire outbreak will be quenched without. Uh, allowing to cause havoc, much havoc. But there wasn't any such uh, facility around. And so uh, that side event was uh, witnessed. I think uh, the proper thing to do is to come to assist these traders uh, because allowing them to remain after this uh, event to remain without their means of livelihood will not go well for their families, uh, themselves, and everyone that uh, relies on them. So it's good that the authorities should come in to assist the Ministry of Agriculture uh, to see how it can uh, uh, assist these people, the humanitarian the part of government should also come in to provide palliatives so as to reduce or to help them uh, in this time of need. Um, I sympathize with them, they are neighbors, because Plateau is a, uh, we have you know, common boundary with uh, Plateau State, and uh, as neighbors, we fully sympathize with them, and we do hope the federal government will come in to assist them as soon as possible. I still submit, Mr. President. We we'll go to the press. Urge the Minister, Prayer 1, urge the Minister of Humanitarian Affairs, NEMA, and other relevant government agencies to immediately provide relief materials to the traders as well as respond to the huge financial losses resulting from the fire outbreak to provide succor to all those affected. Those in favor of Prayer 1 say aye. Those against any day. Prayer 2. Urge the federal government to carry out an, any other immediate action which will improve the condition of living of the affected community resulting from the fire outbreak. Those in favor of this prayer say aye. Those against any dice. 